I will be knocking one of these back right now. And I'm going to cook, so I'm going to cook, and I might record it, some Aki, vegan style, with some green banana. And I'm going to show you a trick of how I do my green banana, because I hate peeling green banana because it always mash up on me. So I found a trick to do it, and it's so simple, it's unbelievable. So I'll be back, peeps. What's up, one peeps? It's Valerie Natures. I'm in Jamaica at the moment and I'm kicking it vegan style. So today I'm going to do some Aki vegan style with some green banana. And if you don't know what Aki looks like, there's the green banana, which I hate peeling. I'm going to show you a trick in a minute. But this is what Aki looks like. So if you didn't know, that's what Aki looks like. This is the tin Aki, so that's why I was going to say it's a quick Aki and green banana recipe because with real ackee you have to clean it you have to take out the poisonous bit you have to boil it but the tin one it's all done for you quick simple it's what you add to it that makes the difference and i'm going to show you a trick or two because i've got some okra today i think i'm going to put some okra in it no salt fish it's vegan style so yeah so i'm going to peel these bananas first and i'm going to show you a trick the first thing, the job to do is break off this banana. I'm going to do all of them. I should have just sliced it. Because what I'm going to do is, a lot of people peel it, but sometimes green banana is hard to peel, especially the small ones. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to boil it in its skin. But what you have to do to boil it in its skin, you have to take this bit off here. So that's what I'm going to do now, and it's tough na hell. Why is it so tough? So I'm going to show you one, and then I'm going to um, show you what we're going to do next. But what you need to do is actually what they call scalding it. So you slice it so that when it's boiling, it will open up. And the second tip is, is don't ever put green banana in water that's not boiled because it will just turn black. So the water has to be boiled before you put it in there. So I'm going to give it two of these. I'm going to give it another one. And then, I'm going to boil it, cut the other end off as well. And then I'm going to boil it. And you can tell when it's done, because all this opens up. And also what I do is put water, salt to taste and a little tiny drop of oil in the water as well. And that way it comes out nice, and it's salted already. And you don't have to think about putting salt on it. So that's how I do my green banana. So I'm going to give these a rinse off and I'm going to put it in boiling water now and I'll be back. Okay? Show you what I'm going to do with the ackee. What I've gone peeps, so I'm back and I'm going to show you all the ingredients I'm going to put in my ackee now. I've already put the um, banana, the green banana in to boil. So it's just going to carry on boiling away until the, the skin looks like it's coming away from the actual banana. That was, that's the way you know it's cooked. But these are the ingredients I'm going to use in my ackee. So I've got onion here. I've got garlic. I've got dried thyme. I've got spring onion or scallion. I've got okra. I don't know if you know what okra looks like, but this is what... In England they call it lady fingers, but this is what okra looks like. Then I've got a green sweet pepper tomatoes, scallion, garlic if I mentioned it already and here is my ackee so usually ackee is usually ackee and saltfish but I'm going the vegan way and just doing ackee and it's going to be just as nice with all this flavouring in it the dry seasoning now is I've got some all-purpose seasoning here don't know if you can see that, that's the all-purpose seasoning I've got black pepper I've also got mixed herbs. I'm going to have a little bit of paprika in there. Unfortunately, the bottle, it was shipped, so 
the most of this dry stuff is shipped but the ackee I shipped myself as well and then I've got my pink sea salt and then I'm thinking about I might depend on what it tastes like add a little tiny bit of jerk seasoning in there because that's got pimento in it which I kind of like so that's still the ingredients that's going to go into my ackee it, sounds, it looks like a lot but it's not really this is the norm for Jamaican cooking this lot here especially in the plate is the norm for ackee because normally even if you did ackee and saltfish sometimes they put okra in it anyway and I like okra so I usually have with my ackee and saltfish I put okra in it but I'm cooking vegan so anyway when I'll be back I'm going to chop all this up and then we're going to see what's going on with our pots okay I'll be back soon so what's up on peeps I'm actually at the stage now to actually do my ackee it's a really quick process Here's all my chopped up ingredients. I've done the okra, I topped and tailed it and chopped it into inch pieces. There's the tomato chopped up. Oh, I forgot about the scotch bonnet, didn't I? There's a the scotch bonnet. I've only done half because it's quite a big one I had. There's the onion, there's spring onion, there's the pepper, thyme, garlic. So I'm going to put everything of these in there except for the okra to start with. So that pan should be quite hot now. So let's have a look. Let's put this in. Yep, nice and hot. I just got stung. There's a pepper's going in. Thyme. Tomato. Scallion. And the garlic. So I'm just leaving the upper to one side a minute. So let's get that going. So I want this to wilt down a little bit. I want it to wilt down. So the onions are translucent. And the garlic's cooked. I don't mind the peppers being crunchy and the tomatoes being quite al dente, but with this, you should really cook it down good, really. But some things I don't mind al dente, so. And incidentally, it was olive oil I used, although sometimes they say you should cook with olive oil, but I don't mind it. As long as you don't let it burn. So yeah. So, let's carry on with that. And it was only a little bit of oil I used, and you're fine. Once you start cooking this down, it makes its own juices, even without the saltfish. Well, the saltfish actually makes it a little bit drier, doesn't it? But we're not doing saltfish today. This is, and incidentally, a lot of this is fresh ingredients I've got from Savlamar Market today. I went to Savlamar and I actually did a video of the travel back because we didn't actually go back the same way. We went to Grange Hill where they do the actual sugar cane, it's the biggest sugar cane factory there. So we went through there and then we ended up in Little London and that's the route we took back to actual Negril. And I showed you the beginning and I'll show you the beginning of um, West End Road as well. And that's where I got my sugar cane juice. I love sugar cane juice. It's the best stuff in the world, but I'm just hungry now. I had one and a half bottles of it. I think I showed you it earlier, but one and a half bottles of it. Ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, so that's wilted down a little bit, so I'm going to add my okra. There you go. Now, when this is cooked, some people say it's a slimy consistency, but I quite, I love it. Once it's cooked properly, though, once it's soft, it's nice. I love it. England, England it's harder to get, but you can buy it for Tesco actually do a frozen version of the okra, which I'm going to order when I get back, because these are the actual vegetables. A lot of these vegetables I miss when I'm at home. And when I'm in Margate, you can't even get ackee in Margate, so I have to go to somewhere like Woolwich or Brixton when I'm down in London to get those in kind of ingredients. I could just about get sweet potato. Sweet potato is everywhere now, but yam, dashin, 
Cho Cho, them things you can't get where I live, or it's very hard to get. There's only a very few specialist shops in Kent, would you believe, that you can get it. But yeah, so I'm taking my time with this thing. I'm stirring as I go. I shouldn't really play playing it, really, but that's what it's looking like at the moment. I'm just letting the okra cook down a little bit. I keep stirring it because I don't want it to burn. I just want it to wilt down. There you go. And the very last ingredient, well not the last ingredient, but the last wet ingredient is the actual ackee. So I'm going to pour that in now. Can't waste none. It's expensive stuff in the tin. Actually it's really cheap here and I've had two versions. My little friend Boom Blast, he'll bring me some ackee sometimes. But yeah. So this is what it looks like without the saltfish. But there's not much difference really. The only ingredient that's different, really, that I've missed out is the saltfish. So that's it. So let that cook for a little bit and we'll have a look at our banana. So I've actually turned off the pot on the banana now. Okay, so I forgot to show you the seasoning when I was putting it in, but they sets it before I've stirred it in. That's the actual all-purpose paprika, mixed herbs, black pepper. I haven't bothered with salt because all-purpose seasoning has salt in it. So I'm just going to mix it in now. Take your time, you don't want to break up the ackee too much because it's very delicate. Mix that all in. And that's basically done. So, and you can add what vegetables you want really. If you want to be adventurous, you can do that. But this is what I normally add in my ackee. Sometimes cabbage, sometimes I even do spinach, a little bit of spinach when I'm at home in Margate. Because there's certain ingredients you just can't get, so that's what I do. So I'm going to turn it off now and pay my attention to the banana now. <laughs> that's it, peeps. Here's my banana pot. I've turned it off because they're cooked. The skin's actually come away, and I'm going to show that to you in a minute. It looks dark, but that's the outside of the skin that's dark. So I'm going to take it out of the pot now because I shouldn't have really left it in the pot, really. But I'm going to take it out now and peel it so you can see what it looks like. What I've gone, peeps. This is what my green banana looks straight out of the pot. All I did was boiled water, make sure the water's boiling before you put it in there, a touch of oil in there, and your salt. You can put salt to taste. I'm not really a salt person, I only put a little bit and um, keep boiling it until you see the skin peeling away and do you see that? do you see the skin peeling away? so I'm actually peeling this one now, it's hot though it's very hot, I split it too much though so you see why I cut into the skin, I've cut it in too much but that's okay, it's still banana and this is what it looks like out of the skin and it's not black at all the secret is the water has to be boiled so, and it's hot, so this is why I'm using a fork as well. It's very hot. The secret is the water has to be boiled. And that way you get the perfect green banana. And there you have it. So I'm going to peel the rest. And I'll be back with the finished product with my dinner. Okay peeps, this is the finished product, Aki, hold the saltfish with green banana and wasn't that simple and this whole meal, if I'd done it without recording, would have taken me less than half an hour really. The bananas only took 20 minutes and it's such an easy way to peel green banana because I just hate peeling green banana because it always mash up or do something stupid but this is an easy way of doing it so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm definitely going to enjoy this because I've tasted it already and it's thebombcut.com Seriously, thebomb.com So, over and out pizza, I'm tucking in. <laughs>
There you go. Yum. Mmm. Don't even miss the salt fish, trust me. Don't even miss the salt fish, trust me. This is so nice. Mm. I know everybody I go like we still we iry. Come in all of the likes. Mm. In a dance style. I know everybody.